There were 7,000 moose living in New Hampshire when Christine Rines became Fishing Game's first moose expert. 35 years later, the herd is less than half that and shrinking. As the moose biologist, it makes me very sad. The culprit, the winter tick that used to die off in winter. As our winters have gotten shorter, which is caused by climate change, it's giving ticks a huge advantage. Not only are they killing large numbers of calves, but they're reducing the ability of cows to have calves. The mortality rate is rising, over 50% of moose calves dying each year from anemia and protein deficiencies in four of the last five years. And those calves, they only need about 35,000 ticks on them to die, and we've counted upwards of 90,000. She fears the New Hampshire moose could disappear. There are a lot of diseases and ectoparasites that are coming our way that they did not evolve with. In addition, they, they are this northern based species. They're used to colder, cooler conditions. We don't know how heat itself is going to impact them over the long term. Moose aren't the only iconic New Hampshire species that we could lose. Loons are impacted too by warmer temperatures. The state's moose biologist says the only way we can possibly slow or stop the impact of climate change is by reducing our carbon footprint. If we continue to ignore it and pretend it doesn't exist, um, we're going to see more and more dramatic changes. In New Hampton, Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.